Hello and welcome to Travel Beans. I'm Emma, behind the camera is Alex. And in today's video, we are exploring the UK for the first time since lockdown. And also we're picking up our camper van with its brand new popped up roof. Today is a very exciting day, you guys, for two reasons. One is that we can finally travel around in England again. And the second reason is we are driving three hours north to go and collect our camper van that has been in the shops for the last few days getting a pop top fitted. For those of you who don't know what a pop top is, it's essentially a camper van that has a roof that looks like a normal roof, but when it's static, you can actually push the roof up to extend the ceiling so we can actually stand up whilst inside the van. Also, we're getting a bed with a scenic canvas, which means we can take off everything so we're not restricted, so we can sit up and the reason we want to have it is for wildlife. Yeah. That's been the thing that's been getting us through the lockdown is going off and walking around nature reserves and filming wildlife. I've seen some amazing stuff recently. I've been dying to show you <laughs> this awesome clip of this kestrel that had caught a mouse and was giving them a taxi to his death. <laughs> That poor mouse had no idea what was going on. But we also saw some really cool stuff. I've seen a water bowl. I didn't even know what that was. Yeah, a uh, kingfisher. A kingfisher, loads of just awesome birds, <laughs> deer, and lots of general wildlife, which is why we're so excited for this conversion because it is going to hopefully allow us to see a lot of stuff around Europe. You might be wondering why on earth are they driving so far away from home to get a pop top and the reason is this is the only company in England that we could find that could book us in before about August September time so with Covid at the moment there's been a bit of a camper van life boom um, as many of you may have noticed so anything to do with camper vans is getting booked up really really quickly another thing is with the build we couldn't actually progress that much further than what we've done before getting the pop top fitted because the van actually has to be empty when they fit the roofs so that's something worth bearing in mind if you're thinking of getting a pop top they may charge a little bit extra if you already have all your furnishings fitted Today has also been a really nice excuse to get away from our little hometown and see something a little bit different. On our way to go and pick up our van, we've stopped by this place here that seems like some kind of nature reserve. There are lakes either side of the main road that you drive through and we just had to stop and have a look. We've just arrived at the place that's doing our pop top and the first thing I can see is our roof <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> Rest in peace, mate. <laughs> Look at um, they're just finishing it off now, so we can't even have a look at it because the door's closed. It's really going to be like a proper reveal <laughs> when we see it. I feel really like nervous, but excited. Like on one hand, I'm like, what if it looks awful? I'm like, also kind of like, who cares if it looks awful? Yeah, we'll be able to stand up. <laughs> it's going to be an awesome camper van that we can stand in. As we've got a bit of time to spare before picking up the van, we thought we would go and check out the traditional local market town of Market Harborough, which is home to what turns out to be the number one voted farmer's market in the UK last year. According to this sign at least. According to the sign out the front. So we thought, I love a good farmer's market definitely need to go in there and get ourselves a picnic. The farmer's market did live up to its name and there were so many delicious looking things in there. We got ourselves a great little hamper of food and we've come to a place called Foxton Locks to come and have our picnic. And don't you just love it when stuff doesn't go to plan and everything just works out wonderfully? This is the most adorable little spot. There's little canal boats all dotted along the river here and then you have sort of a lovely pub and shop on the corner and it's just really quiet and quaint and pretty. We have been to lots of nature spots around the UK but this one was completely off our radar and kind of an accidental find but it seems to be quite a nice one. Also, with the canal boats, I've always been intrigued to stay on one of these. So you never know, after van life, maybe there'll be canal life for the beans. For anyone interested in a canal boat holiday, you actually don't need a license. You can captain one of these for up to 12 people, I believe. And I used to hear rumours that it's the only vehicle that you could legally drive drunk. 
or at least with have alcohol. I've just googled it and unfortunately that isn't true. No. <laughs> <laughs> We've sat down for a picnic and the best thing about farmers markets, if you're not from the UK, this is where you want to go to get your British beige goods. <laughs> British beige goods. British <laughs> beige. British beige goods. <laughs> and I've got a selection. We have the classic sausage roll, a pork pie with Stilton, Scotch egg, some veggie thing that Em will show you, a duck samosa and a traditional egg custard tart. I'm gonna have a nibble on all of these. <laughs> <laughs> so first, the classic sausage roll. Sometimes they can be a bit too fancy. No, he so likes them plain. Too fancy, like I <laughs> predicted. <laughs> Give this boy a Greg sausage roll any day, he loves it. They go too high on the quality of sausage. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Next, we've got ourselves this a traditional. <laughs> <laughs> well, with, traditional duck samosa. Just a traditional duck samosa. <laughs> with a lot of Indian inspired cuisine here in the UK, you will find random Indian foods like this. <laughs> in a bakery. It smells great. Mmm. The first thing you had is like traditional British food and you said it was rubbish. Then you're trying Indian food and you're saying it's Delicious. great. Delicious. Okay, next I'm going to go on to the dreaded pork pie. <laughs> I've ranted about this in the past. I got excited that this had Stilton cheese. I love Stilton cheese, so I thought I'd give it another go. Unfortunately, it has that horrible jelly again. But <laughs> let's see. The classic thing about Stilton is it overpowers everything. <laughs> so this is amazing. What? Really? Amazing. I haven't even got time to be bothered by the jelly because this has gone to have all the attention. <laughs> and finally, after my quick British fire round, We've got the egg custard tart. This is a bit of a traditional one. You'll see it in the supermarkets around. Don't move along. There's everything to see here. <laughs> Do you know the pudding pots with the little milky bar, like little yogurt things? It tastes like that, <laughs> hiding <laughs> in pastry. <laughs> so, out of all of these beige treats that you've eaten, what's your favorite? Well, ironically, the sausage roll is the worst one <laughs> by far. Everything else was equally amazing. I, I, there's no reason to choose. Okay, now it's my turn. I've only gone for a couple of things. I've got my sweet potato, caramelized onion, and goat's cheese scotch egg. They never used to do great veggie options for scotch eggs, but these days, a lot of the farmer's markets do offer them. Oh my goodness. It's so like peppery. Oh, that's really, really, that's maybe one of the best ones I've had, flavor-wise. And next up is a Wensleydale and leek pasty roll thing. It's basically a veggie sausage roll. Basically a veggie sausage roll. Very cheesy. Very leaky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm surprised. <laughs> After a picnic and a short walk, it was finally time to go and pick up our van. I want to say it's the moment of truth, but I can see it parked out the front already and it looks amazing. <laughs> it looks way better than I thought it would look. In the back of my mind, I was a little like dubious, like, oh, maybe it won't look as good as I think it's going to look, because I haven't seen any long wheelbase T4s with a pop top. This is the first one I've seen, and I like what I see. Let's go check it out properly. We are so in love. It looks better in real life and just better than we ever could have imagined it looking. Oh, we have brought it home now and we want to give you guys the full tour. This is the inside of the van with the roof down. So there's really not that much difference to how it was before. It's the exact same height, if not a little bit higher where this panel is at the back and it's all kind of left untrimmed and unfinished at the moment because the guys at the shop weren't sure how we were going to finish the van so they've left it all for us pretty open i guess i'll show you what it looks like open because it's all about what it's going to look like when it's open and the extra space that it gives us and i thought we may as well show you how easy or difficult it is to open um so basically you have these two straps here and here that hold the whole roof in place so you just have to undo these and then once that's undone you literally just push it's 
so easy <laughs> to put up. It takes like 10 seconds, I love it. And then you just tidy away these straps by hooking them back into the loop at the top. And once these are all tucked away nice and tidy, you just push and this part goes off as well. So that opens up this whole area for standing. I also really want to show you how much light this thing lets in. It's incredible. Um, here we have a big old window at the front to let in loads of light. And then we also have these side windows with mesh panels to let in more light and a bit of ventilation from the top. We have one of these on each side. And then the last part, which is really exciting for our nature spotting part of our trips, is the scenic canvas feature. And can you imagine what it's gonna be like sat up here with a cup of tea, looking out at the nature in whatever wildlife spot we find ourselves in. This excites me more than any other part of the van for that reason, I can just completely imagine it. Another really great feature that we have added on is the bed. So not only can we sit up here and look out at the wildlife, this does actually come with a mattress, so you can use this as a bed. So if we argue, if we argue <laughs> I have a place to go. It kind of future-proofs the van as well. So for anyone watching who have kids, you can actually have your double bed downstairs and you can have another bed that would easily sleep a couple of kids up here as well. Lastly, we just want to show you how to actually put the pop top roof down. It's actually not as easy as putting it up, but it's nowhere near as hard as we thought it was gonna be. Now that the windows are all zipped up, all you have to do is pull on these straps a couple of times um, and just sort of stopping on the way to make sure everything's tucking in nicely and that's it. I must say I was a little bit concerned before getting them popped up that it would be really difficult to take down but I can now confirm that it's not that difficult and so I'm really excited to be able to use this popped up so many times when we take it out on adventures. If you're wondering about the price, I can confirm they don't come cheap. Um, it's definitely worth shopping around because the prices do vary a lot depending on where you go. We paid about, well, just over 3,000 pounds for hours and that is for the scenic canvas and the optional bed. Um, for us, it's definitely worth it. I think just the the best of both worlds that you get from having a short height van during the day, but being able to pop it up and have that extra space when you want it for us is well worth it. But obviously that's not gonna be for everyone and there's always a hard high roof option as well for others. Um, but yeah, leave us in the comments down below. What do you think of the pop top? Is it something that you would get in a camper van? Would you prefer a high top? Would you just not want the faff at all with a pop top? Leave it in the comments. If you like the video, you know what to do and make sure you subscribe and nothing left to say, but thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time and beads out.